Uh, here we are rendering a couple of true-false questions. Let's uh, add a couple of radio buttons to allow users to enter the uh, their answer. Right, so here what we could do is uh, display a couple of input fields right, of type radio. So we say input, uh, and they are these are going to be uh, type radio. And it's going to allow us to either select yes or no. Right, and maybe put a break in between. Oh, well, actually, instead of yes or no, we'll say true, false. So there we have it. So here we are rendering the um, the two uh, two questions here. There's two true, false, and and the user can now select the radio button of our choice. But notice that these radio buttons are not mutually exclusive. By default, they are not. Right? We need to configure them to be mutually exclusive. So let's see how we can uh, make this mutually exclusive. So this question is a, is a JPA. Right? So if we go into in here, the, the way to make these radio buttons mutually exclusive is, to, is for both to participate in the same name, to have the same name. So if these were, if the name here that this were was a JPA question, uh, then perhaps the, a good name for this might be JPA. Right? Now that they have the same name, right, when we, when we render and use them, Notice that they are now mutually exclusive. See that? So now they're behaving correctly. But because these two uh, radio buttons have, and these radio buttons down below are being rendered by the same component, uh, they both are going to have the same name. Notice that if I if I click on this, notice that now all four of these are mutually exclusive amongst each other. So that's not quite right. Right? What we'd like to be able to do is that they are only mutually exclusive amongst themselves. Right? So so to do that. We need to come up with something that is unique here uh, to this particular question, right? That we could use uh, so that these, but it's the same for both for both input fields. So something that is unique within this question is the ID of the question. So what we could do here is instead use the question and the and the ID for that, right? Now if we use that instead of something hard coded. Uh, we can go back here, and once it renders, you'll notice that indeed now they are mutually exclusive, uh, but now they're independent, right, from each other, right, because they are using the name as a name. They're using the unique identifier, you know, with which which is unique across multiple questions, but it's the same within the same question.